Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to my channel, welcome to your reading for the month of December or should I call it the rest of 2020 since I've been filming rest of 2020 readings but we're already into the next month so yeah um let's see what is going on with your ascension process with your love life your career life purpose I usually love to focus on ascension and life purpose um because these are just my things but I like to diversify things with a little love messages here and there. So make sure to stay throughout the whole reading because I have a little announcement at the end of it. Now let's see what is going on with you ascension wise. What I'm getting is that Aries might be looking for friends right now, support, understanding, advices, but I'm seeing that your friends are dealing with their own stuff. It almost feels like Aries right now will not have um, the right people in their environment to help them out. Um, you might feel a bit neglected or you might feel like people around you are selfish because they're not helping you when you need them, but you are there for them when they needed you. So a lot of this is uh, going on and Aries, I feel like um, it's part of your um, heart chakra awakening process to have compassion and understanding that people are not... Um, and they do not owe you anything for the fact that you help them. Um, and you need to learn how to be okay with that. Of course, I'm not talking about allowing people to use you and then just uh, run away and, you know, leave you behind. But I'm saying that there is a lesson that you're learning um, around your heart. A lesson that you're learning around friendships and that some things you need to go through alone, you need to figure out on your own. And I think that the universe is purposefully um, not allowing your friends to help you out because you have to learn this alone. Let's see what is going on with Aries Ascension till the rest of 2020. Okay, I'm getting some strong, strong starseed stuff coming through. Like Starseed Awakenings. Communication. Do not ignore any information that comes into your head. Any communication that comes to you right now. Um, till the rest of 2020. I feel like galactic beings are trying to contact you. Because they're saying you're ready uh, for the next level of your ascension. So you might... Mm, try to neglect it because it's out of your comfort zone and it's out of what you know but it's very important to not do that it's very important to um, acknowledge it and even um, ask for more of it you know more uh, confirmations more clarity more communication oh god angel of annihilation yes Oh my god, this angel comes through not so often, but is super beautiful. I love him. Fanuel, angel of truth. <laughs> interesting. Okay, very interesting. Hmm. Look at that green flame that turns blue. Give me some time, you guys. These cards are... They're a bit hard to read, but they're also quite intuitive, so I like them. There is a lot of things that you believed about yourself, especially spiritually, like who you are, what's your purpose, where you come from, if you're a starseed, that will shift and change. I feel like um, you're letting go of labels. This will help you channel uh, more pure information. You might be dealing with lots of Libras and Tauruses till the rest of 2020, or the themes of life that Libra and Taurus rules, which is both are ruled by Venus, which is like beauty, you know, design, aesthetic, um, um, with Libra fairness, legal, legal matters, with Taurus money, so maybe business contracts um, will be uh, delayed or completely scratched off. You might be signing off contracts.
Hmm. Hold on. What is this? I want to clarify these cards. Okay, so I'm getting that many of you will um, surprisingly find the right teachers, um, the right guides in human form. But again, it would be from an unexpected place. So it won't be your friends, it won't be family, it won't be the people that you expect to help you. Um, it's very interesting. Also, what I'm getting is that um, many of you are called to seek the truth deep within yourself rather than someone else telling you what to do what is the right thing to do five of swords venus in aquarius Okay, yeah, I mean, many uh, many Aries people can have Venus in Aquarius. Saturn in Pisces, Eight of Cups. Your expression of emotions will feel restricted. If you relied on feelings um, supporting you and giving you the energy you need to go throughout your day i feel like you would feel emotionally drained i think that um you know, like the things that used to inspire you or push you forward will no longer work and all of this is happening because you're pushed to go within and seek the truth within I'm hearing transportation, so you might be moving businesses, you might be moving houses, because I'm hearing transportation, or something is coming towards you, you're waiting for something to come. Five of Pentacles, okay. Mercury and Taurus. So, um, to the rest of 2020, you might notice that the more you think about money, the more you talk about your uh, material possessions, the more they um, slip through your fingers. Um, the more money doesn't manifest in your life. So, be careful how you think about your money. There is... I, I feel like you guys are focusing on things in life that drain your uh, bank account and you're focusing too much on um, having um, responsibilities and priorities um, or areas in your life that need a lot of financial, um, financial um, charge, a lot of financial... Um, input but for your bank account that's a financial output right so do not focus on these things okay it's normal we all have periods in our life when um we just we have a lot of things to pay for and we might find ourselves oh shit i <laughs> i uh, wasted so much money like was was it even worth it some of you might doubt if the things you you purchased are worth it um what i'm getting is that you might be preparing for launching something but it might need this financial um input as i said so do not regret it and also don't focus on it do not see 
buying stuff as a negative thing or as if you're losing something when you do it. Two of Cups, okay. We have Venus in Pisces and the Tower, okay. Hmm. And the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, interesting energies, hold on. Some of you might pay for a trip with your partner, you might be going somewhere with your partner, you might be renovating the house. Um, it's like, yes, a lot of money uh, w was spent on this thing, but it was worth it. it. It gave you such an amazing experience. It was worth it. Do not regret it. Or I'm hearing that some of you, if you're going through a separation stage or you're um, um, working out um, inheritance issues, this would also cause you uh, to spend money. But in the long run, again, the message that is coming through is that it will be worth it. So let's see what's going on in your love life, Aries, in your love life. Ooh, the strength card, okay. So this to me um, definitely indicates someone who is into fitness, into physical activity, sports, yoga. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. So in love. In love. What is going on with, with Aries? Till the rest of 2020. Hmm. You guys are sitting pretty on your throne, in your house. You might be posting pictures to these people. Show off what you already have. Hmm. It's interesting. There is this conflicting energy in your love life because... You want to create a sense of structure, a sense of stability. Um, but there is an excitement. Something is causing a lot of excitement in your love life. And it's making you act on an impulse. But when is Aries not acting on an impulse? <laughs> okay, let's see. What I'm getting is that um, you might be facing like a crazy situation. For example, you're unable to travel, but you feel super attracted to this person. You're talking to them and they're like, just come and visit me, you know, <laughs> or I will come. Like, there is an element of something exciting, but also a bit scary or dangerous in your love life. The chariot. Oh my God, yes. Traveling and ten of swords. For some of you, this can be long distance a relationship that you're not sure if it's worth the investment of energy. Page of Swords, the world. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. So for many, many of you, this this could be a long distance connection or someone you're not living with and they might impulsively be like let's live together move in with me or can i move in with you or something like that like something that 
takes the commitment to the next stage and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to sacrifice my freedom. Hold on. What is this? Yeah, right now it's not the best time to make promises to anyone or to believe that someone would keep their promises because I'm getting that the throat chakra in, in your love life of you and others would be super active, but the root is unstable. So it's like you're going to speak things, you're going to say things, and so will your partner. Um, but the... Um, the execution of these promises will be hard. Even if you want to keep your promise, it's like circumstances will not allow it. So do not put too much value on words till the rest of 2020. Also, I'm hearing do not put too much value on thoughts. What you're thinking would, um, uh, would be, may not be. So if you're having like this, these thoughts inside your head, like this will work out or this won't work out, it might be the quite opposite outcome. So yeah, Mercury, Mercury energy, thoughts um, um, and words are not of value till the rest of 2020. So don't pay too much attention to your fears. Don't pay too much attention to big ass promises because all of it might be very illusionary. Um, and it might completely change um, 2021, beginning of 2021. Because I said, as I said, there is a huge desire to create stability, to create um, security. That's why you might think big, you might talk big, but... Um, it's like your actions will not be allowed by circumstances to match your words or thoughts. So this is what I'm getting for Aries. Thank you for staying throughout the whole reading for those of you who stuck through with me. Um, and here is the announcement. Aries, I really want to, to ask you guys, if you watch regularly these zodiac sign readings that I do for you, if you're subscribed to my channel, and if you resonate, of course, um, please let me know because I'm thinking of making a Patreon with extended readings for the selected group of Aries who actually sign up for a very symbolic price um, to get more in-depth messages, but I will do that if it will be really helpful to you. Um, so far, I've, uh, I've received a huge, huge amount of support um, in this idea of mine. However, it probably won't come till January next year. But I just really want to see um, some feedback. What is your opinion on it? If these readings are helpful, if you think that in-depth would be really helpful for your month ahead and they resonate with you, amazing. I would love to do a Patreon. And if not, just let me know, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's the announcement. It's more like a question rather than an announcement. But yeah, anyway, so I hope that Aries resonated with their messages. I hope they're helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you want to support me, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Because um, it really helps my channel grow. And all of my information is provided in the description box. Bye, beautiful Aries. See you next month.